To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye, and the shadow of your wings protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Today is the Thursday of the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and the Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Bain Spedding. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. This is what I pray, kneeling before the Father, from whom every family whether spiritual or natural, takes its name. Out of his infinite glory, may he give you the power through his spirit for your hidden self to grow strong, so that Christ may live in your hearts through faith, and then planted in love and built on love, you will, with all the saints, have strength to grasp the breadth and the length, the height and the depth, until knowing the love of Christ, which is beyond all knowledge, you are filled with the utter fullness of God. Glory be to him whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory be to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord fills the earth with his love. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-stringed lute sing him songs. For the word of the Lord fills the earth with his love. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. The Lord fills the earth with his love. His own design shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. The Lord fills the earth with his love. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. The Lord fills the earth with his love. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to bring fire to the earth, and how I wish it were blazing already. There is a baptism I must still receive, and how great is my distress till it is over. Do you suppose that I am here to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. For from now on a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. The father divided against the son, son against father, mother against daughter, daughter against mother, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians is a great epistle of the church and speaks much about the church, the body of Christ, and becoming part of that. And we see how, uh, you know, Christ fills us with himself, uh, the idea that, uh, you know, planted in love and built on love, you will with all the saints have strength to grasp the breadth and the length, the height and the depth, until knowing the love of Christ, which is beyond all knowledge, you are filled with the utter fullness of God. A wonderful uh, imagery that St. That Paul um, induces in our minds when we hear those words of God who really does dwell within us and fills us with himself, makes us parts of his body. You know, we are the members of his body, the church, and he is the head. And so it's, it's a very ecclesial letter speaking about how the church is not just some association or gathering of people who happen to believe in Jesus Christ, but rather members of his body, parts of him, he animates the body that he has formed to himself and in himself. It's a wonderful uh, way of showing our closeness to God and how God literally is the life blood and the life breath that animates and fills the church. And yet, the language in the gospel seems to be very different from this and far away from it. When Jesus speaks about bringing fire to the earth and not bringing peace. Do you suppose that I'm here to bring peace? No, I tell you, but rather division. And this is because that although we hear this, this, this word, this gospel, which is a gospel that calls us into the most intimate union with God and he with us, it's also a challenge because we have to be humble. We have to give up our own selves, our own designs, our own desires, our own what we want to do, our own independence because our true independence apart from god is utter devastation we can't be happy if we are apart from god we're made for him and our true happiness our true purpose is found in him so if we are apart from him then we are deeply unhappy but that's the challenge we have to accept that we must not only you know receive god into ourselves but we must die to our own selves um and rather come alive to Christ. That's a challenge, and it's a bigger challenge than many people realise. It means giving up many of the things that we think uh, we should be able to do, and we want to do ourselves, and why can't I do this, and why can't I be that? It does take a great renunciation of the will, a handing over, even as Jesus did in the garden, 
to show us the way by saying, if it is possible, let this cup pass me by. Nevertheless, let your will, not my will, be done. That's why we say in the Our Father, thy will, you know, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's why it's a central part of the Our Father because it's so important for our giving up to Christ and therefore being able to become part of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race. So also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you. All the redeemed praise you. And all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all those who hold him to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious Ave Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. 
Pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he sent the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of our high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit as we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit.
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. sacrament most holy, our sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment now. Our sacrament most holy, our sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment now. Our sacrament most holy, our sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment now. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age, and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.